I would like to announce that tomorrow, May 20th, the Nintendo Wi-Fi servers will be shut down. Rest in peace, Nintendo Wi-Fi and Mega Man Star Force Wi-Fi battling. So welcome back to the Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we got the Master Sword back to its former power and we defeated Mulgura. That was a pretty cool battle. This episode, seems like something is going on with Zelda. At least this guy says something's going on. So we gotta go find all the Triforce Shards. And yeah, this is gonna be quite a ride. But, in some shape or form, this will be our last side quest, you know, quest thing with Bobber. But let's get started really, really quick, because this is gonna be. This is gonna take a while. First place we wanna go is Diamond Step Isle. I have to find out my map though, because I don't freaking know where it is. I know it's like towards the west part of the map. There it is. Okay, so it is northwest of Outset Island. So what I'm going to do is warp to Outset first. Then I'm going to, of course, sail northwest to Diamond Step Isle. I'll see you when I get there. Alright everybody, we are approaching Diamond Step Isle. I lied. Okay everybody, we are approaching Diamond Step Isle. As you can see, there are trees over here, so of course, guess what that means? Hookshot time. Really? Are you sure not close enough? That's kind of BS. Okay. For some reason, I thought something was jiggling over here. I thought it was a mailbox at first, but what? I don't get it. It's kind of, I don't know if my eyes are playing tricks on me, because I'm getting a little bit tired now, but whatever. <laughs> oh, Blue Joe. Ouch. Forgot about that. Okay, that's not going to work. Not going to work, Stall Fox. Doesn't work either, really. Fine. Blue Chew Jelly. Tronimo! I just realized the whole island is actually shaped like a shoe. Like the bottom of a heel. Anyway, look at this spooky place. Bunch of pots. Pots. Everywhere. Oh yeah, I want to show you a funny trick though. I did it before on one of my recent playthroughs. Just jump on like this. Get your sword. Nah, should probably get the sword out first, but now we can basically uh, yeah, do this. Look, we can just skip this whole section. That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, Come on now. Shoddy hit detection at its finest. You guys drop magic at all? Eh. Kinda need it. There we go. Awesome. Need me mad? He's gonna try to do a jar at me, jerk. Any more magic? Awesome. Oh, I guess they give us the sticks too. Never thought about that. Okay, so there's like three other pots we could choose from. I don't remember the exact order, so we'll just guess our way through this. Are okay? That was incorrect. But I was just showing you a trick anyway. You're really supposed to go over here. Get a jerk. Oh my 
get our stick, you might as well burn this. Yeah, once you burn them once, that's all good. Now, this isn't the actual correct way, but this is a way to a joy pendant. Don't know why I need joy pendants, but I guess I just like to get things. It's a little kind of a sense of accomplishment in getting things. Oh, oh, we're back in that one place we were just at. Okay. Okay, looks like we got that one right. Hey Okay, if I remember correctly, the correct one. I don't think it's this one. You can also drop down there and start over from the beginning. <laughs> I want to say it's this one. Watch it be the first one I said it's not the. Right. Yeah, this is again correct. We're gonna be here for a while. Wait, why did I go outside? Yeah, by now I could have gone over there the regular way, but whatever. Okay, it's this one. Don't throw stuff at me. 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 Stop. Oh, I guess you ran off stuff to throw. <laughs> Well, thanks for giving the stick to me, but I'm, all, I'm good. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, this is the right one. Stupid four masters. Yeah, nothing to throw at me now. Cool. Here's our prize. We get the ghost ship chart. Yeah, I heard the letter in the ghost ship. Apparently at night, it shows up at specific different places. This chart will allow us to find out where the ghost ship is each night. And there is ways to find out where it will be, you know, on the internet. But actually, you do need the ghost ship chart anyway, because if you do not have it, it will not let you inside. For some reason. Sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, now let's consult our ghost ship chart. The ghost ship is at five star isles right now. Okay. Let's see if we can catch it. Um yeah, it should be Five Star Isles is where? Five star aisles. By the time I find this thing, it's just already gonna be next day. Oh, it's at the very edge of the map. Like the south, very southeast edge of the map. So we gotta go to Forest Haven South, southeast, and by then it'll probably be daylight. Oh well. Okay, we're getting close to five star aisles now. Hmm. Oh no, it's daylight. Oh, that sucks. Oh man. Well, so much for that. What we're gonna do though is I'm just gonna sit here and keep playing the day song of passing until the ghost ship shows up. So once it does show up, we'll cut right to it. Oh, I think it's here. I see a storm. Oh, look at that. There's a big old ship out over there. Let's check it out. Yep, it's the ghost ship. Look at that. 
So ominous. Geronimo! We just go right through and magically reappear. Okay, so as you can tell, there's gonna be lots of enemies here. Ooh, look at the. Ooh, look at that. They look like a bunch of stone masks from Majora's Mask on the floor. That's kind of creepy. Alright. Because I know some of these are going to be those skull enemies, so I'm going to snipe them from here. At least try to. Okay, that's a Poe, obviously. No? Alright. Let's do this! Oh, of course, Wiz Robes. Let's actually go get it. What? What? This Poe possessed me! Oh, shoot. Now my movements are backwards. That's not fun. Where's the Wiz Robe? Where's the whiz robe? There you are. Thank goodness. Okay, now for you. By the way, the mask sword is really shiny now. Me like. It does more damage right there. Yeah, it does. It does a bit more damage. Since it is at full power now. Okay, let's take care of this poke. And this place isn't that bad. That was worse. See, it'd be really bad if the what the wizard over here actually summoned more enemies, or maybe it did and I wasn't looking. But I'm pretty sure it didn't. God, that there's like a freaking face right there. That's creepy. We get a Triforce Shard! So I suppose apparently the ghost ship was powered by a piece of the Triforce. So we need seven more. Ooh. Get me out of there. And the ghost ship is gone. Alright then. Well, at least we got our Triforce Shard. So now we gotta look up where to go next. Alright everybody, our next destination is the Private Oasis. See you when I get there. We're home! That's right, remember? We got the cabana deed from Miss Marie. So this is basically our home now. Other than Elsa Island. So now we basically got ownership to this new cabana, I suppose. Let's see what waits inside. I honestly hope it has an awesome entertainment center, lots of video games, and yeah. That'd be epic. Oh, but I gotta be realistic. This place is pretty much like the medieval times. <laughs> anyway, let's show off this vanity to this door. You unclean muscles and foul. You lay those grungy hands. Whoa, whoa, that. That's. Wait, that's the... Are you? Are you the new master? Are you Master Esau? Oh, I am so pleased to hear that name. Master Esau, please bend your door on this fine door. What? First of all, the fact that the door talks to you is pretty creepy. And there's a butler drawn on it. Look, <laughs> back of the door is like the back of the butler. That's freaking hilarious. And there's little statues of the butler. That's just so creepy, dude. I don't know. Don't know about this place. For some reason, we still have the cabana deed equipped. So. What the? Oh, okay. So there's like regular butler? But look, this guy is dressed up like the maid. <laughs> wow. So we got a nice chair. Oh, yeah. And we got a puzzle. Oh, Mesta. Do you have the interest in the amusements of nobility? Not in the least. Bzz, of course, bzz. sorry to bother you of such trifling things, Master. Awfully sorry. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. I'm sorry, not a jigsaw puzzle. It's like a sliding your puzzle. Yeah. But it really doesn't do anything for you. I think it might net you rupees if you get it right. But honestly, it's not worth it. We can get lots of rupees here, though. From these jars. Man, 
I can't get that red ruby. <laughs> yeah. Gonna need some rupees anyway. Ooh, 50 rupees. That's opposite. That's awesome. Well, hmm. What do we got for our. There's a hook. Grappling hook right in our ceiling. That's wonderful. Oh my goodness. A secret passage? Well, it is kind of our home now. I guess we gotta see what's underneath it. A sewer. Lovely. And it's infested with rats. Guess I need to call the pest control. But what else we got down here? S gates and skull hammer switches? Alright. Ooh, we gotta crawl. Which way should we go though? Uh, I'll go this way. Put up the sword link. Okay, so sort okay. of rupees. Cool. This this little mini dungeon actually reminds me a lot of the bomb of the well from Ocarina of Time. Dude, that bomb of the well and the Shadow Temple are like two of the most hands down the most creepiest temples slash dungeons in the entire Zelda series to me. Especially the music. Ugh. That music is just so ominous. The music here is kind of ominous too. But it's not that bad. It's not nearly as atmospheric as the bone of the whale is. Well, it's nice. It's pretty cool that you can actually explore kind of a sewer place in this game. Okay. Let's go hammer time. Oh, but stand up. I think this is the way back to where we were. Or I could be wrong. Let's check over here. Yep. It's where we just were. So let's go on this way. And there's rats. Okay. Let's go this way. Ah, treasure chest. I had a hundred rupees sitting under my house, but I had even more than that in my pumps. So, ha. <laughs> 1,555. Need to get like 4,000 more to even it all out. Okay, only other hole to crawl into. It's a good thing I'm a child. What's this? I was about to say, is that something magical? It just looks like... You know, I don't know, like, it's not watery here at all. I would think this is like a puddle, but what the heck? Doesn't look like there's any water dripping down there. Is that a glitch or... I don't even know. That's strange. Yeah, it seems like that's what the, uh... Dripping it, oh, like the splashing effect looks like, but why would it be down there? See, there they are again, so probably is a splashing effect. Why it was in the area without any water, though, was my main question. Oh. Okay, so I think this, yeah, this leads back to where we were. 
So let's go down here. No ladder to go back up. Uh, I guess that rat didn't give me much of a choice. Re-deads! Oh no! There's re-deads in the basement of my house. That is freaking creepy. I guess you need to take care good care of your houses, folks, or re-deads will spawn in, in the, your basement. It's a good thing I live in Texas, though, because basements do not exist in Texas. And if you're asking why they don't exist, it's because the water level is higher than everywhere else, apparently. Not the water level, you like the sea level. That's what I meant. Whoa. What we got here? Oh, shoot. Designs are reflect when they're drawn here. Uh, must mean to use the wind's requiem. Check it out. Hey, a Triforce shard. Six more to go. That's supposed to be why the Redeads popped up. Because the Triforce must have created them or something. That would be my guess. Hey, come back here, my rupee. Ah. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you try to pull a fast one on me. Freaking rats. Oh, they stole quite a bit of my rupees, actually. I was only like 1,555 before. Now it's 1,418. Maybe we can restock some here. Doubt it. Oh, where is it? There it is. Nope. We're out of here then. Let's get out of this creepy cabana of re-deads in the basement and... The butler is a door. Uh, yeah. Can't say I like the place that much. Not to mention, the only puzzle in that freaking house is that the snotty nose kid. Like, what the. Anyway, let's find out where we're going next. Uh.